content? Is your content enough, or do you want to provide them an extra incentive to come to you and add on that platform? Basically, what we want to do is stimulate the market. So we, we thought that the, the best way, one, first of all, we wanted to preserve paid content. There are a lot of media companies that are offering up apps now, uh, whether Apple apps or Android apps, that are free. Um, and that was a trap we didn't want to fall into because the print world fell into that trap when the internet was created because we all gave away our content for free. So the main thing was is we wanted to preserve paid content in any platform that we go forward with. Uh, next was we were trying to think about how can we stimulate this market and create a market and, and truly begin to test a large number of consumers absorbing their content on these new tablet devices. Knowing that iPad was the first in the market, but that the Android platform is going to be exploding over the next couple of months. So we decided to bundle in the device with the content uh, and the offer, if you, if you basically paid for those four items, the two digital editions of the paper, uh, the Android app of the Inquirer, or the tablet device itself, you'll receive about a 50% discount off of those four. And that's the offer that we're going to be giving out to the consumer. Can you break down the dollars? That we have not determined the pricing yet. We're still modeling that out. So. Is that over a one-year subscription, or? We're looking at, uh, right now, we're looking at a one- to two-year subscription offer. And um, what, are you going to be partnering? I know you haven't announced exactly which tablet yet, but is it going to be something that's already on the market, like a Nook Color or a Samsung the, tablet? The, or? the manufacturer of this tablet is available in the market today. That's about as much as I can tell you. And users will be able to use this tablet for other things besides just running the app. That's a great, that's a great question. Yes, absolutely. You, you'll have uh, internet access. There's a browser embedded in it. You can watch movies. You can do your email. Basically, everything you can do on an iPad will be done on this Android tablet. And you're starting to see more and more Android tablets being advertised right now. And as we get into the holiday season, we'll see even more. But yes, you can basically do everything that an iPad does on this, this tablet device that we're going to be introducing. And then you'll also have a separate iPad app, but you won't be selling iPads. Exactly. We will also launch an iPad app that will be available in the Apple Store uh, for basically a, you know, a subscription price just for that app. Yes? Uh, approximately uh, how many uh, subscriptions or tablets uh, you estimate you would need to sell to you know, get out of the red, so to speak, or you know, make up for the you know, lost opportunities? Um, we're working on that model right now. I will tell you, though, that we are in the beta launch at the end of August. We are going to be offering up a limited number. Uh, it's more, more than 100, less than 100,000, <laughs> uh, somewhere in between, uh, of tablets uh, and subscription offers available to test the market. Based on the results of that market, then we'll reformulate the plan and launch another initiative on Black Friday. Um, and so we expect it to escalate well into 2012 and 2013. We're basically looking at a three-year plan, but we haven't determined the final number yet. Right. But there is a tipping point, obviously. Somewhere down the road, there'll be a tipping point that occurs with the number of subscribers on digital devices versus the paper. Let's say, like, uh, you know, God forbid, you know, print goes out, you know, it becomes obsolete. Like, how many online uh, subscribers do you think you need to maintain, like, for the, the, the overall business model? Um, where, where, we're, we're not trying to predict the outcome of that. Uh, what we're trying to do is learn what, what the consumer's preference is. I mean, a lot of people ask me how much longer do you think newspapers will exist. Um, I don't have the answer to that. Nobody has the answer to that. The consumer ultimately will determine that. What we want to do is align ourselves with the consumer and the technology companies, which has been un highly uncharacteristic of the newspaper industry in the past so that we can be right there with the consumer. Because, if, you know, if this was a tablet, it's not, but if this was a tablet, this is just another delivery platform for the content that we generate on a daily basis through the Inquirer, the Daily News, and Philly Doc. Um, we're somewhat agnostic over time on what platform we decide to publish on. And it's up to us to create a business model to do that. But we're not really focusing on a timetable because the consumer will determine that. But we want to be aligned with the consumer to sort of follow them and the technology. Do you think this is the first step to ending the printed paper altogether eventually? No, no, I don't. I, I don't. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I think that what, what will happen is I think that the content mix in the paper will probably evolve uh, as it has on the various devices. Today, we're publishing content over seven platforms today. 
Uh, who would have ever thought that a couple of years ago? And what we're learning is you can't take the same piece of content and publish it the same way across all seven platforms. Social media is a different phenomenon than mobile, right? The mobile device is a different platform we're realizing than the tablet device. The tablet's different than the newspaper. The newspaper is different than the PC or the laptop. So again, we're going to be very agnostic with respect to which device we prefer or push on the consumer. We're going to respond to the consumer marketplace. And our goal is that we're the number one content provider in this region and audience developer in the region with all of the platforms. And the consumer will ultimately decide which platform they want to uh, consume that device in.